All right, uh, here is what we're doing. What we're going to do is we're setting up our TP link to connect to our hotspot on our cell phone. We are then attaching the wireless or the wired Ethernet side over to our open spot. Our goal is to be able to see the open spot control panel from our cell phone. And that's what we're going to do. As you can see, I'm in the TP link. I've already defaulted it. And I'm going to go do a quick setup, which is the easiest way to put everything the way it is. We want to set it to client mode, which basically tells the unit that on the wireless side, it's going to bring all of that traffic over to the Ethernet side. There's no firewalls, there's no port mappings, there's nothing you need to do. It's a transparent, basically transparent bridge. So we tell it client, it's going to go out and scan for the access points. And the access point out here that we're looking for that I'm set up with right now is called AP42. Shows up right there. We're going to tell it next. Now, this is going to be where it asks for the root password. I'm double checking just to make sure the password is correct. 708-233-72. I don't care if you guys have this password, you're never going to be around me. So, we're going to click next. 708-233-72, yep. And it's going to ask us uh, what type of IP addressing we want to set up. If you leave it set up for smart IP, it'll push the, the DHCP request up the chain from the original host via it be a hotspot or your cell phone hotspot. So we want to leave this set up. As far as the subnet mask, you don't want to change that. Leave that 255.255.255.0. The DHCP server, you cannot change the options on that unless you change the smart IP up at the top. So on this page, just click next. It's going to let you double check everything, tell it reboot, tell it OK. And it's going to reboot over here, which you'll see this light go out here in a second. And it's going to reconnect to my phone. Once that light goes solid, which usually takes about, I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds or so. And as you can see on the screen, it still says it's rebooting. So it should be up there. It went solid. We should hear the radio kick in. Tell us we're connected. Might take a second because I've not actually powered off the radio. Let me do that real quick. But what I'm going to do is go grab the open spot and show you that both of these cables are connected together. Let me pause it and then I'll come right back. Okay, you saw me do the configuration on the TP link. Now I just did the test in the background. TP link's working. Open Shark's got its screen lights going. So we're going here. I'll move the camera over so you can see what's going on. But what I did is I'm connected to my hotspot on my cell phone using the hotspot feature on my cell phone. This thing's connected and set up as a client and it's using smart DHCP. So what I'll do here, I'm going to turn everything off so you can see the sequence. Open spot is connected. Yep, yep, yep. We know, we know. Show you the sequences of everything and how I bring it up. Just move the whole tripod over here a little bit. Ignore my messy desk. Back this out a little bit. Yes, we know you're disconnected. I'm going to unplug the power to it. So now that I've configured my TP link to be a client device. I'm going to plug it back in, which right now it's being powered by a battery just because I've been moving it back and forth. So we're going to give this a minute here to cycle back through. And as you can, while we're waiting on that, as you can see on my cell phone here, turn it sideways maybe, that might help. You can see that my hotspot is on. 
the Wi-Fi sharing option is not turned on. Um, I've let I turned it on a while ago and had an issue, so I turned it back off. Not sure if it's going to really cause an issue or not, but at least I pulled this one out. So it just told me that the TP Link connected, green light, phone shows a TP shows a green light. Now we're going to plug in. Okay, I've got everything configured. I'm going to reset the uh, open spot so you can listen to watch it connect and I will show you all of my connections. So, just plugged in the open spot. Knows it's ready. TP link screen. We know that we're talking. Open spot connected to brand wiper 3108. Link static talk room 31665. Link dynamic talk room 31665. And to prove there's no shenanigans going on, this is the only Ethernet cable that I have running between the TP-Link and the Shark. Everything else is either battery power or plug into another device for power. On my cell phone here, I'm going to flip over to a web browser. And since I've had the same IP address every time, that comes up. And if I hit login, it's going to go out take it a second to get a tack together and there we go and I'm going to key up and make a call Kilo Delta 5 Tango Juliet Golf radio check for the video on back on the side KD5 TJG so right there um, in just a couple minutes I proved that it is 100% successful. PJG's K7 CET, good radio check. Yeah, other oh, the guys are thinking I'm doing radio checks, but nope, I'm actually doing something that uh, apparently uh, it's come to my attention that a hundred other people haven't been able to do this, and I'm hoping that you guys can follow this video, uh, do what I've done. If you have any questions, you can call me, you can send me an email. My, my call sign is Kilo Delta 5 Tango Juliet Golf. It's not showing necessarily on the screen right there, but that's who I am. Um, I'm going to post this video on Facebook. I'm going to put it in the DMR groups. Um, like you see, I'm still connected. I use a little APC battery pack to uh, power my devices. What I like about the APC is it has a uh, just a USB plug that you can plug into the front but it also has a mini USB that you can pull out on the side and uh, if I don't reply to him he's gonna keep going anyways you can run two devices off of this one little battery pack so if I really want to I can run the hotspot and my TP link on one battery although it eats it up a little bit quicker but anyways that's the video for how you set up your open spot to get back to the dashboard on your uh, on your phone it's as simple as that let me know if anybody has any questions comments concerns complaints and we'll go from there 73's my friends